Robert Mugabe is still president and still center stage in Zimbabwe. But for the first time in 28 years, he no longer has a monopoly on power. That was signed away in front of an audience of African leaders and dignitaries. His old rival Morgan Changarai becoming prime minister with the stroke of a pen. They will rule Zimbabwe together now and in theory put aside all of their differences. But after this handshake, there's a long way to go. I have signed this agreement because I believe it represents the best opportunity for us to build a peaceful, prosperous, democratic Zimbabwe. I have signed this agreement because my belief in Zimbabwe and its peoples runs deeper than the scars I bear from the struggle. It was a speech full of hope and optimism, but then Mugabe piped up with a familiar tirade. The problem we have had is the problem that has been created by a former colonial power wanting to continue to continue to interfere in our domestic affairs. Why, why, why the hand of the British? Why, why, why the hand of the Americans here? Let us ask that. No sign of a new beginning there then, and he barely mentioned the power-sharing agreement. Not a good start to this fragile deal. Even the celebrations outside the hall smacked of division rather than unity. Supporters of both leaders competing to claim that their man had come out on top. Who is in charge now still isn't clear, and that's going to be the biggest obstacle to progress. International money won't pour in to save Zimbabwe until Mugabe proves that he's really loosened his iron grip. Emma Hertz, Sky News, Johannesburg.